So I'm here on the namechip.com website and I want to do an easy WP tutorial guide overview whatever you want to call it. If you don't have an account the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to namechip and click here on sign up. Just sign up and create an account it's free you don't need to do anything else just make sure you add all the correct details here and once you're logged in you can come back to namechip and under hosting we want to work with easy wp so we're going to come here under wordpress hosting you can use my affiliate link in the description i will greatly appreciate your support if you're going to use easy wp to host wordpress then consider using my link in the description i will greatly appreciate your support so easy wp is a managed wordpress hosting provided by namecheap so if you want to use this you can just come here under hosting click on WordPress hosting that's going to bring you here and you can see the pricing the different offers that they have down here if you click on that it's going to bring you to it's going to bring you to this pricing area and you can look at the options that you have so you can see this is very very affordable if you want to run one website you can run this 50k visitors per month this is a lot i know this is a lot for one website you can host it for only that a month if you want to upgrade you can try that but of course i always advise people start with the smallest to see how it is and you can always upgrade it's very easy to upgrade on namecheap so let's start with this one which is free and i want to come back where i'm logged in let's come here under wordpress and this is just the same hosting it will just bring you to the same spot there and let's try this for free I'm going to start easy wp starter and i want to try it for free so you're going to need a domain name so i was telling you to set up an account because it's going to save you time for doing that when you're doing the order so you can see since this is just a trial period i will not be charged anything and that's really nice you will be charged starting from july so in order to proceed provide one valid payment method i can just choose paypal and uh, of course i'm going to disable this as soon as i'm done with this tutorial because i don't want to be charged payment method is set up now you can choose all these details website name let's say we want to we want to sell computer memory no we want to we want a blog so i'll just call it ricky's blog okay so that will just be the name of the site what would you like to do on your website you know what i'll just say share ideas in a blog you can choose as many as you want to but i'm just going to say share ideas in a blog i think this will just help you to add various plugins let's try sell online as well and uh, that so let's see if this is going to add the plugins I'm, I'm assuming that's just going to add the plugins so you can create a domain so the domain for this will be free this is a free domain you can use the easy wp domain for that but of course i don't recommend that don't use this you're trying to build a brand so either you buy a domain or you use a domain you already have so if you already have a domain on namecheap you can choose one already and i'm going to choose one here i know i have a couple of domains some of my domains are not being shown here but that's because they are not on the free dns so what that means is if you already have domains this is just for people who already have domains on namecheap and you want to use those domains and they're not being shown there let's just come back to our dashboard let's go to my domain list so let's say i want to use this domain uh let's click on manage so name servers i think this is where the problem is i can use namecheap basic change the dns record for that this is only for you if you already have a domain on namecheap so i'm going to use namecheap basic dns once i do that click there on save i should be able to see the other one if i reload the page so oh come on i have to start again okay let me just start again and then share ideas sell online have a personal site and then continue and let's hope that now i can find my domain right so you see once i change the dns record and make sure you change it to the basic dns record and you save 
it will be shown there. That is only if you already have a domain on Namecheap. If you don't, you can always buy a domain. You can just do that and just leave it at that. But if your domain is on, on other provider, you can connect it once your website is set up. So let's start with this, okay? Because I'm assuming you don't have a domain. So let's just start with that. But if you do have a domain, you can choose yours there. And you've seen how you can make it show up. And then I will continue. And then you can choose the plugins that you want to use. So if you don't know any of these plugins, just ignore them, okay? You don't have to set up your website with any new plugins that you don't know. So WP101, of course, you don't want to install that. Just watch a video on YouTube or watch a free course on Udemy. Uh, this, I don't know this one. I would probably won't install that. We don't install that. Yoast SEO, definitely you want this. WooCommerce, if you want to sell things using WordPress, definitely you'll install that. Okay, so I'm guessing this are shown to me based on the options that I chose in the first step. So if you choose other things, they're probably going to show you optional plugins that you can choose. If you want to set up a blog without WooCommerce, you can ignore WooCommerce. Okay, just forget about WooCommerce for now. If you want to sell stuff online, definitely enable that, but you can install it later. Let's just set it up and then I'm going to show you how you can install new plugins on WordPress. So your website will be live at Ricky's that, Rick marked that, and then your subscription will be Easy WP Starter Monthly. Your plugins will be that. This doesn't really matter. I can set this up later. I can log into my WordPress dashboard and just set up that. So let's continue and see what's next. All right. So let it create the site. You see, you can log into Easy WP. You can log in to your site as well. You can click there to go to the admin, to go to the admin dashboard. If you look at your email address, the one that you signed up on Mailchimp with, you'll find all the login details, you'll find your username, and you'll find your password there. That's the password for your dashboard, okay? And you can change that. If you come here under users, if you want to install a new plugin, you can just come in here under plugins, click on add new, whichever plugin you want to install, maybe you want to install WooCommerce, you want to start selling stuff online, you can install WooCommerce, install, and then activate it. You can just click there to activate. If it refuses to install, just refresh the page and try again. Activate the plugin. That's pretty much how you can install a new plugin. And as soon as you activate WooCommerce, you'll see it brings all these options here for you to set up your WordPress shop. So if you don't want to deal with that, just skip all this. You can set up your store, you can build ad products. Now let's come back here under EasyWP and let's click on that. The different options for this, you can change the domain. You can look at you can look at your database. You can access your database here. If you come here under files and databases, you can actually import a new website like this. Click access database and uh, go to PHP my admin and then import a database. If you know how to do stuff like this, then you know what I mean. If you don't, then just find a video. You're going to see how you can import a database into PHP My Admin, and that's a way for you to import a new WordPress. If you're importing a website from somewhere else to here, then you can do that. If you want to see how to do that, feel free to let me know, and I will do a video about that. And then integrations, let's see what you have here. You can integrate with all this. Maybe CDN, you can use that, but this probably not. Private email, yeah. Maybe you want to use private email. You can do that. And this is Namecheap. So yeah, this is from Namecheap. Namecheap has affordable private emails that you can use. And backups. If you want to set up backup, you can create a backup. This is very important. You never know. Something might happen. Your website might get hacked. Your site might get messed up using a plugin. You might hire someone to make a change and they mess up. So always create a backup, especially before you hire someone to work on your site. Create a backup. Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to change the domain. So you can see that I don't have a way for me to buy a domain here. So that means that the only way for me to buy a domain is I would have to come here and maybe I want to use Ricky Markt. Rick, if this is the case, then do yourself a favor and register this domain before you even buy the hosting. Okay, before you buy this hosting, the WordPress hosting. Make sure you register the domain first. You can register it on Namecheap or you can register it somewhere else. But since you, you're using Namecheap, you can just use Namecheap domain for this because the domains are pretty affordable as well. 
you can add that to cart and whichever others you want to buy buy them and as soon as you do that you can come back here to your easy wp and then you click on domain uh, you click here on change domain and then you come to your domain on name chip and then you select the domain there okay if it is not showing up here uh, once it has been set up make sure that make sure that you have changed the name server like i did for that okay and for this one let's see can you use a domain yes you can use a third party domain i see you can type in the name of the domain and then you can go wherever the other domain is and you add this okay but to avoid all this hassle just import not import what's uh, transfer your domain you can transfer your domain to namecheap i think transferring to namecheap is free you can transfer your domain to namecheap i've used them i've used namecheap for a very long time and you can use them as well for domains if you want to register a domain don't even sweat it just use namecheap for that if you want to transfer a domain just transfer your domain okay and if you want to buy the wordpress managed hosting please consider using my affiliate link in the description i will really appreciate your support now if you want to add another site maybe you want to install another website you can just click there give it a name and follow the same process as we've done so as i've said if you do want to set up a new website just ensure that you go to namecheap register the domain in advance and then you can come here and add another website so in this video you've seen how you can set up how you can use easywp so let's say you want to log in if you want to log into your website make sure you use a, an actual domain don't use this okay right now this is my domain of course this is absolutely not user friendly yeah but either way that's the one that's online okay so once you set up your domain and you change the domain to whatever it is like for me let me let me change this domain to to that okay and then i will change and let's just see if it's going to reflect instantly and it should reflect instantly since i'm using it on namecheap so let's try 254.press it's still showing the details from the previous dns record you can add ssl let's see so you see this is why it's good for you to do this during the installation process okay when you're installing your website make sure you use the domain don't use that other domain uh, make sure you've registered the domain on namecheap and then you just you just select that domain and it's going to come with this already set up that's something that you should consider So I know it's HTTP. It is not reflected, but this usually takes a while. Okay, you saw me change the name servers, and after changing the name servers, it needs to take a while. Even on the Namecheap website, it tells you that this may take 24 to 48 hours. It usually doesn't take this long. By now, it should have propagated, but I know Cloudflare is worldwide cloudflare is literally everywhere and therefore it's going to take a while for it to propagate but this is how you can do it you can change your domain here so just a word of advice make sure you do this during the installation process before you set up your website make sure you have registered the domain you want to use and you just select that domain from namecheap so register it on namecheap to make your work easier if you want to log into your wordpress dashboard all you have to do unfortunately this is not working but all you'd have to do is go to you'll just have to go to 254.press this is slash wp admin so if you go to slash wp admin it should take you to your wordpress so this is very important make sure you set up your domain during the installation process to avoid the problems that i'm experiencing right now so the propagation hasn't taken place but as soon as it does it should work but unfortunately i'm going to experience problems because the installation was done on ssl and this is not ssl as i said first step register the domain so there's no login quick login there so maybe you just have to go directly to easy wp.com so once you set up your account just go to easywp.com if you want to log in to your easywp account and easywp 
you can log in on your on your EasyWP account. That is, if you want to manage, if you want to manage your website, so you want to add another one. So you just come in here, and you'll find your website there. You can add another one if you want to. You can go to this. Will take you to your WordPress dashboard. And remember, all your login details have been sent to you in your email address. So change them if you want to change any details. Your user account. You can change all that on your WordPress dashboard. So just go to easywp.com and click on login and you can log into your EasyWP, EasyWP account. And if you want to go to your WordPress dashboard directly, you can just go to your domain, uh, your domain slash WP admin. Okay. So as I said, my, do my domain is that. If I want to go to my WordPress, I can just go to WP admin like that. And that's going to take you to your WordPress dashboard. Okay. So that's pretty much an introduction to EasyWP. If you want to use it to host your websites, you can do that. If you want to use it to host your WordPress website, then you can do that. Okay. Once again, these are the offers. So you can get there by going to easywp.com or you can go to namecheap.com slash hosting here under hosting WordPress or WordPress that will take you to the same place. Okay. So these are the prices as you can see here. very affordable one of the most affordable managed wordpress hosting solutions available so that's it for this video if you do have any questions feel very free to let me know